that sound like you? Does that sound like you? Are you struggling with finger technique? Does that still sound like you? Just don't got the coordination with your fingers yet. The speed. You should know that I have a course designed to efficiently increase your technique dramatically and in a short amount of time. It's called my 90 days to razor sharp technique using the Herbert L. Clark book. And I'll put a link down in, in the description. You can click on it. You gotta get it. It's a 90 day course. And I'll just say this, if you are working on the Herbert L. Clark technical studies and you've started at the first study and worked your way through, if you've already done that, then you did it the wrong way, my friend. And you likely haven't got the best result from the Herbert L. Clark book. I have strategically Put exercises more at the beginning of your study uh, that you need to work on first that will actually help speed up your progress and allow you to tackle some of the more difficult ones as you get to them in the Herbert L. Clark. And so we take the studies from one through eight completely out of order. And then even the, even the exercises in those studies are taken out of order to give you the best and ultimate um, speed and improvement in your finger technique. So, yeah, the first one I did was um, the one that everybody seems to have trouble with, people get scared of, and a lot of times young, younger players will simply avoid it. That's on the second page in the second study of the Herbert Duck Clark, the one with all the sharps. Yeah, so you heard me struggling. <laughs> After you get done with my course, it's going to be more like this. You're going to have the speed, and you're going to have the coordination to do the most difficult things on this instrument. And for you uh, baritone players and tuba players, there is the Herbert L. Clark book for bass clef players, and I also... Um, have that addressed as well. It's pretty much the same book, but you're, it's this, it is the same book, but it's structured in bass clef so you guys can read it. So just because you play tuba, euphonium, euphonium or baritone, doesn't mean you need to bypass this promo and go back to whatever you were doing. You actually do need to get this course. What was the other thing I did? Um, it was part of near the back of the book, these um, little chromatic things. That's a real finger workout right there for you guys. Uh, you go through my chorus. You're just going to have fast, coordinated, even, and consistent fingers. So, uh, fingers are important. You know, I do talk a lot about range. Be, mainly I talk about range because that is the most, sorry, that is the most difficult technique on a brass instrument. But there doesn't mean that all the other techniques are easy. And this is the one that's quite a challenge, is getting faster fingers and coordinated fingers, especially when we play in keys that we don't encounter every day. A lot of us don't encounter playing in F sharp major, for example. That's concert E. Um, we just tend to come across keys that are uh, more common for us that seem easier, but mainly because we're not always playing in F sharp major, for example. We're not always playing in D flat major, which is um, concert C flat. So it's good to not only be familiar with these keys that don't come our way every day, 
but it also builds your technique in your fingers and up in your head. And you get the ultimate in your ability to improve your your overall technique on a brass instrument. And let's face it, we all need to keep working on our technique. I work on my technique all the time. It doesn't stop. You got to keep working on it. And if you have a system out there that's going to help you do it better and faster, why not get it? Look down the description, get my Herbert L. Clark course, 90 Days to Razor Sharp Technique. I'll see you in the next one, which will be coming probably tomorrow. Bye-bye.